Rusky's Crypto Cave here. Here are my vents. That's the way I have them set up right now. You can see I, don't have, I only have the gable vents installed on the bottom row. There we go. All right, still learning this camera. I didn't see what I was doing. But this is shot in a new camera in a DJI Pocket 2. So let's go inside and see what we've got going on. Nine to three. Get a little toasty in here. We got 86 here. 89, 86. This is 94. And all the power usage. We got 54, 60, 44. Uh, the main reason we're here to look at this one, this is the one the ASICs are on. Um, I should have paid more attention to what the temps were outside and the temps in the shed. I might have to go back and look at the other videos to see. Um, just to see how much power that thing is using right now. So I do have it set at the 110 terahash mode um, that will get more hash rate. I was out here earlier and that controller was doing the same thing as the last one it was doing, which power spinning down to a low speed and then coming back on. So I don't know what the issue is. I think I'm going to have to switch back to that manual controller just because I can't be having that, especially when the temps get higher and having that S19 overheat. Um, but if you go inside, I wouldn't hop in the computer and see what the hash rate is. This is pretty stable right around 108, 110 terahash. And it says like the power usage is like 3600 where previously this was right around 2020 with just the cadena miner um and so like 3400 or so but i know, did notice the uh in the brains os the power usage last night said 3000 i was gonna record it last night but it was getting late and i was like oh i'm not gonna do it i'll just do it tomorrow when the temp when the temp for cooler to around 3,000 watts in the system and 110 terahash roughly, and now the temps are higher, chip temps are higher, all that stuff. So then there's more power use and so But we'll see. The uh, I'll have to start recording some more data as far as temp the chip temperatures and all that type of stuff just to get a better idea as far as what affects what. But anyway, we'll catch you in the computer next and uh, see what the uh, brain OS looks like. Alrighty, here we are in Brains OS. And you can see hash rates around 111.2. It's been varying around 108 to 111, 112, something like that. Uh, temp temp uh, chip temperatures are on the higher side. Um, and the shows power usage is 3600, which it's not accurate. Um, we were just out at the, uh, the shed and saw that the total power usage on that outlet was 5400 and some change. And I know the power usage of the Canada Meyer by itself was around, right around 2020. But I probably should have notated the, the inside and outside temperatures at that time just to get more accurate data as far as how the uh, temps affect the power usage and fan speeds and all that fun stuff. Um, but as you can see here, the one minute hash rate is 108 to 15 minutes, 109, 24 hours, 108. And... Uh, no hash rate errors, it shows the frequency and temps of all the chips, board temps, all that fun stuff. The uh, voltage, I believe, was lower than that last night, so I'm just wondering if it's kind of adjusting the voltage, which would then increase the power usage. So I'm actually going to create a spreadsheet and mark down uh, the ambient temperature outside, temperature inside the shed, and uh, chip temps, hash rate, all that stuff and uh, power usage that's in Brains OS, what it says there, and kind of see if I can get an idea as far as what's going on with uh, how the temps affect te uh, power usage and all that good stuff, um, just to get a better idea as far as what the, uh, the power usage is going to be. So, but there's the update, I and mean, it looks like the power usage now is higher than it was before. I'll have to look at the uh, previous videos just to see what the uh, temps and stuff were in the videos and, and the hash rates and stuff when I had it set at 104. Because I do know a lot of the stuff I was reading about brains has a lot to do with the temperature of the chips relating to power usage, 
higher to temps, higher to power usage, so on and so forth. So I'm just wondering if it's cranking up the juice to reach the 110 terahash because the uh, chip temps are high. And then as the chip temps get lower, the uh, power usage will drop too. So uh, let's uh, record some data and see the correlation between that and uh, see what I can figure out. Until next time, we'll catch you later.